That was very important uh, period for us, for the whole community, mm -hmm. not only for culture sector, but uh, for also for citizens, because everybody felt kind of a, a power into into the city, in the people. Everybody was uh, um, aware of what is going on. We are trying to the whole city and the whole team working for the European Capital of Culture was trying to um, spread the information about what does it mean Capital of Culture, what is the process, how it is going on, I mean what are the criteria to select the city, the country, um, how it's going on in other cities and other countries in previous years. Uh, what does it mean to be a capital of culture? Uh, what are the processes before? How we should prepare for that? And uh, when the people f started to understand the whole process and the meaning of the city uh, and the citizens, so it was like a eruption of, of uh, energy and uh, activities and kind of a power people people got a kind of I don't know superpower and uh, they really believe that uh, Lublin has a chance to win and so they also started to believe in their own city we had a very big problem before 2007 so the end of uh, the end of 90s beginning of 2000 uh, with um, kind of a consciousness about the city that we like the city that we would like to stay here uh, this the, there was even a kind of research of uh, students of sociology how do you feel about your city i mean do you like to live here do you like your city your neighborhood and uh, most of the people they said that there is no there's nothing going on in the city um there is uh, there is a big unemployment uh it's dirty uh this is uh, we, we live in uh, eastern New eastern poland this is poland b which is worse which is poor um there is nothing beautiful in the city and this was like uh, yeah, I, I, I hate that, I hate this place, I, uh, and also this image of the city you somehow um, um, reflect into others, yes, you, you, when you talk about your city in a negative way, so everybody thinks, yeah, so we don't go there, for what? And we have to st spend l lots of time to do different uh, activities and really uh, cooperate with people through smaller groups uh, of um, um, culture managers uh, working with um, different communities in the whole city to actually uh, create this image that we have potential, culture potential, that we have something, we can share something, we can show something to Europe, that we exist on the map of Europe and we have to somehow point it but the power is in people, not in institutions, not in walls, in beautiful uh, buildings. This is something apart. And uh, four, actually four years, three years, or four years of working uh, on comp completely different projects which are engaging the citizens into culture, social life of the city, uh, different public debates, um, uh, social uh, consultations about uh, um, the urbanization of the city. So there were some plans to uh, renovate some squares, to build new buildings and uh, everything was open, was accessible. You could see what is, how uh, the, the city is changing, how the, um, uh, how it's um, how the citizens are changing and everything was like visible and uh, you could touch it. Yes, you could touch everything, uh, in, go inside uh, some uh, activities. Uh, there was no, uh, this, this wall, this kind of a border between uh, elite culture and uh, popular culture started to like be more in balance, yes. And, uh, uh, 
the cultural institutions old one already from with with this communistic system and thinking they also um, started to uh, go out from the walls from the institutions to be more with the people to be closer to the people and this caused a huge uh, movement social movement uh, in the city and uh, the citizens also believed that they they can change something and uh, change the environment, their selves, their neighbors, um, their mentality. And uh, they believed that if they start to do something, fight for something, um, they can change. And that was the biggest success of European capital of culture. We didn't win, but uh, we won more than, than a title. We believe that. And this energy is still somehow, it's not so uh, great and powerful as it was a few years ago, but it's still, uh, it's still kept and many of the activities are still going on and there are more and more. And uh, now when we invite different people from different countries to Lublin, they say this city is like full of culture. When you are there, there, there it's, it's not about um, activities, it's about the people, that you feel that uh, everybody is living like uh, in, you, you have this feeling that everybody is in culture sector, that everybody is doing some culture, that, uh, that everybody is uh, somehow involved in different activities and they are in thousands of places at the same time and uh, they do uh, thousands of things at, at the same time. Yes, you have this feeling and we, I have this feedback from many, many of artists, uh, uh, tourists, uh, uh, friends who are just visiting the city.